a normal question. Our other two kids are dwarves. The dad's a dwarf. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, you know, or Akon. And it's hard to tell when they're babies. It's not like something that they yeah. like come out and they're like, oh, that kid has Akon aplasia or, you know. So it's, it's a totally it's normal a, question. Yeah. Do you ever get sick of people asking you if Josiah has achondroplasia? I think it's just like... It's a normal question. Yeah, I think people are just curious usually. But I think for Zach and I, it's always like, you know, we try not to make it a big deal just because like we never want our kids to feel like it is a big deal. Um, Right? There's a lot of things with language lately. And like... Like we've been really convicted on how we like talk about it. He's a child with... He's a boy with achondroplasia, he's not like... He's not that's an not his like That's yeah, not his like... It's not his identity. identity. Not like, we're not, we're not definitely big PC or judgy people at yeah. all like that, but it is, uh, yeah, he's a, he's Josiah. He has achondroplasia, yeah. but he's not like Josiah the just like Just like I'm Tori, I have brown hair. I'm yeah. not a brunette, you know? Like that's not how I would like... Yeah. Like classify myself, I guess. Like we just try. We've just been really convicted of how we talk about it around our our kids, and you know, with him. So yeah, we're not no. So we're, but like we're normal, never offended. With yeah, it's a normal question. Them. Our other two kids are dwarves. The dad's a dwarf. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, you know, our Akon. And it's hard to say. tell when they're babies. It's not like something that they yeah. like come out and they're like, oh, that kid has Akon aplasia or. You know, so it's, it's a totally it's normal a, question. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, definitely. I mean, are you guys going to be talking about it a little bit more on social media or is this something that you wanted to keep more private in the family or is it something that you just, you know, don't mind talking about? I guess about? we haven't seen anything. Right. I, I, think that it's, I think though with like social media and like you speak differently because I don't have a conflict with us, but just the way that I talk about it on social, like I tend not to talk about it a lot on social media just because again so i know it could be a bigger deal to other people than yeah. it is to us and then when yeah. we say it, it's it so seems it's like so normal to us though like it's so i mean grandparents have it dad has it kids have, like we have so many resources and like you know there's a lot of parents out there who don't have the same resources and aren't don't have the same confidence in everything that doc and i do and so i think that like and yeah, yeah, we will definitely be advocates for people dwarfism because of Forever. our kids. Um, yeah, we'll talk about it, but it, I don't know. I guess it, I haven't even thought about it until now. It's hard, like when people bring it up sometimes too, it is like, oh yeah, like my whole family has a chronoplasia, you know, like it's just so normal in our Jackson school, And but... Jackson's learning. Jackson's actually pretty cute about it, but he's learning that. Well, tell, like, tell her what happened yesterday. Oh, I was watching dwarf soccer, stalker a bunch of dwarves play on in YouTube a game mm-hmm. and he goes why are those players so short yeah. and those and he was looking at some fans with the coaching staff and he's like <laughs> those players are tall you know and I was like well those players have dwarfism they're like you and I you know he's, he's like, just now starting to like connect yeah. the dots. realize it yeah I'm not still say like I don't I want to when I grow up, I'm going to be tall like mama, not you, dad. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, that's, you're in for a rude awakening. Right. Is there anything about the newborn stage this time around that is different or more challenging? Like you said, I know you have two toddlers running around, so that definitely makes it more challenging. I think just the confidence and like being parents now, like third time. Mm-hmm. And then you also have two other mouths in the house, like Jackson and Lila. So it's like you have to like divide your attention. You can't react every time the newborn makes any sort of cry sometimes you just have to be like all right he's fine i Let gotta cry for a minute you gotta balance things a little bit more when you're the right. and when it's your first it's like everything's around that newborn yeah. and it just can't be that anymore yeah right definitely now that you are at number how do you two divide the parenting duties uh we there's so, yeah, Zachary, know. like he's so great with like the older kids. So he'll take Jay and Lila a lot. And then I'm kind of left with the baby. And It's kind of like that. Yeah, the older kids and a parent and then Josiah and a yeah. parent. Sometimes Lila swings, yeah. you know, <laughs> she'll swing in between the two groups, right. depending on what we're doing. But, but Jackson's more go, go, go. He yeah. wants to get out, go outside, go play with dad. Josiah, yeah, Lila's in this like weird middle zone though. Yeah. Really? Yeah. How so? Or just she like, she wants Sometimes to, she wants to be with mom and baby. Sometimes she wants to be with dad and brother. Yeah, and, and I think she knows that she can kind of pick and choose. Yeah. We'll tolerate either one. Sometimes Jackson's like, no, you need to get out of the house, you know? Yeah. And Lila's like, well, let me try outside. And let then if I don't like it, if I get dirty, I want to go back inside. Yeah. And yeah. It's like, oh, that's- <laughs>